Hey, my beautiful Pisces. Thank you for checking out my channel for the love of water to row. It's Chianti bringing you a love reading for January 2020. Again, this is for my fellow baby sharks, my Pisces, sun, moon, and rising. Um, if the messages resonate for my fellow Pisces, my fellow baby sharks, my water babies, remember to give me a like, a comment, subscribe, or a share. I do offer personal readings, Pisces, and if you're interested in booking me for a personal reading, my email information is in the description box below. All right, my baby sharks. I'm, again, guys, remember this is energy. This could be your person. This could be getting ready to happen, happening right now, or happening in the future, Pisces. It is energy, so everything is not going to fit. Everything ain't going to resonate for everybody, okay? I went ahead and pulled... Moonology Oracle cards for us to get started. I wanted four. I got five. I'm going to try to make this as brief as I can, but it's definitely telling a, a specific story. Let's buckle up our seatbelts, Pisces. Let's go. The first card I got is don't let pride get in your way. Full moon and Leo. Some of us may definitely be dealing with the Leo here, but there's something about somebody maybe letting pride get in the way and maybe they're getting ready to drop their pride. Don't know, Pisces. I feel like maybe someone is getting ready to drop their pride and because I have emotions are running high. This is a super moon. And this card does is indicative of something getting ready to crack open in, in our favor. And I and I, because I did read up on the card and it's funny because the next card that came out was Luck is on your side. A new, new moon in Sagittarius. Some of you are definitely dealing with the Sag. Okay, but if you take a look, it does look like something about a message you see the art the archer you see the message coming directly towards us which is the moon it looks like luck is on our side and something and emotions are running high in this situation someone is maybe letting pride get in the way but maybe they're getting ready to drop that the next thing i have is conclusions are within wow 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 right pisces this is a full moon eclipse and we had one extra one and i just had to take it even though I don't know how I feel about it just yet, okay? The next one is be bold and make the first move. Cardinal moon. And some of us are definitely dealing with the cardinal sign. If you're not sure what a cardinal sign is, go ahead and look it up and you'll see the four signs that are cardinal signs, okay? But that's what we have. That's what I have here. I don't know what these messages are going to say. You guys know I, I, I find out right along with you. We're going to see what spirit has to say. But it definitely looks like someone may be swallowing their pride. And they're getting, maybe, maybe getting ready um, to come to some conclusion. And Spirit is saying for you to be bold and make the first move. I don't know, Pisces. Oh, and at the bottom of my deck, have faith in your dreams, okay? So take, take that where it goes, Pisces. Let's go ahead and clarify. Let's clarify don't let pride get in your way, full moon and Leo. Let's see what Spirit has to say about this pride strength. Some of you are definitely dealing with the Leo, okay? Somebody may be trying to be strong right now and hold back from you. And if, the, and, if it, and if it is someone holding back from you, Pisces, Spirit is saying that it's pride. And Spirit is advising them, this is energy, make it fit where it fit, you or your person, Pisces. This is Spirit saying not to let, that, let, let pride get in the way. I definitely got another card of Leo there. The Two of Pentacles. Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. Somebody may be juggling a decision. Okay? And they're not making a decision because of pride. Ten of swords. Oh, so somebody is not going to let pride get in the way. At the bottom of my deck, I have a devil. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. Somebody could be fighting an addiction. Okay? But there is something about... And you definitely could be dealing with the Leo guys. But there's something about someone... Juggling a decision, trying to stay strong, trying to end some sort of huge painful cycle, let go of something toxic. They may be holding on to something toxic due to pride, but it's, it's getting, it's, it looks like they're getting ready to let that go. Page of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Energy, Aries, Leo, Sag, Energy. So it does look like someone's getting ready to end some sort Someone may be holding on to their pride right now at the bottom of my deck. Ace of Pentacles. I love it, Pisces. Someone may be holding on to their pride right now, right? But it looks like they're getting ready to let it go. They're holding strong right now, possibly, Pisces. They're juggling either a decision, a choice, or resources, or money, or something to that effect. But there's getting ready to be some sort of huge, painful cycle that they're going to end. And they're going to swallow their pride, it looks like, whoever it is that's letting pride get in the way. And there's going to be communication and an offer made. Eight of Wands, Page of Pentacles. Make it fit where it fits, Pisces. Mm, I'm not mad at it. Now... We got emotions are running high. Okay, baby sharks. Let's see 
whose emotions are running high and what is this going to mean for us okay let's see emotions are running high let's see what this means for the baby sharks why are emotions running high First card out the deck, Six of Wands, because there's getting ready to be a victory. It's success and acknowledgement. Three of Cups is at the bottom of my deck. A reunion, a reconciliation. Wow. Why is emotions running high? The star. Some of you could definitely be dealing with an Aquarius, but someone's getting ready to get their dream, get a wish fulfillment. Mm. The bottom of my deck, the Two of Cups. Somebody's get, Some of you are getting ready to have victory and success and a reunion and a reconciliation with the soulmate. Two of Cups is here. There's going to be, see, someone's getting ready to swallow their pride. Emotions are running high right now, guys. But there's about to be a victory, a success, an acknowledgement. Somebody's about to have their dreams come true. There's a soulmate connection here. The Eight of Swords. So someone is, someone, this is Aquarius, leave the tower. See, someone is getting free. Someone is getting ready to swallow their pride. Someone is getting ready to swallow their pride and break free. In some sort of huge, painful cycle, there's going to be a new beginning here. To be dealing with a Scorpio, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I got an Aquarius here. Give me more on emotions. I'm running high for Pisces. The Nine of Wands. See, there's someone, there's a wounded warrior. There's someone tired, but they're getting ready to push through. The lovers, you definitely could be dealing with the Gemini. They're making a decision, okay, because there is a deep connection here. Someone's getting ready to get free and swallow their pride. The Nine of Pentacles <laughs> and the Six of Cups. Wow, bottom of my deck, the Four of Swords. So emotions are running high because someone is on a break right now, okay? Someone is healing. Someone is strategizing. So there's about to be wish fulfillment. Some There's something about a past soulmate here, okay? There's love and long-term commitment here, okay? There's a deep connection. There's love and a long-term commitment. Emotions are running high right now. Someone is getting ready to break free of something and they're tired. And, it's got, and there's about to be a victory or success or graduation and there's about to be some sort of huge healing coming from this you definitely could be dealing with an Aquarius you got I got Gemini here Aries Leo Sag energy six of cups you definitely could be dealing with another water sign such as yourself knight of pentacles it could be an earth sign it could be just about anybody this can go any way for you Pisces but I'm telling you what the cards are saying let's see what luck is on your side about this Spirit says luck is on your side about this new moon in Sagittarius. You definitely could be dealing with the Sag. If you are, it looks like luck is on your side in this situation, Pisces. Make it fit where it fits. But why is luck on your side here for Pisces? Why is luck on your side here for Pisces? The Four of Swords. There's a Four of Swords again. So again, there's been some sort of there's some sort of healing. There is some sort of healing happening. The devil is at the bottom of my deck. Someone could be healing from some sort of addiction. A Capricorn could be involved in this. Sagittarius could be involved in this. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. But someone is. There, there was something painful. But there is a lot of cards of healing here. I have the Eight of Wands. I have messages. Communication about this. Again, something about Victorious. Aries, Leo, Sag, Energy, King of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You could definitely be dealing with another water sign such as yourself and the Empress. Okay, at the bottom of my deck, I have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy here. So it does look like, if I could just be honest, Pisces, it's gonna be different for some for for some of you. For some of you, there's a male energy here, Pisces, and you put yourself where you is, and then some of you, there's a male energy here that's taking a break from an empress. You feel like something's toxic here, and you're getting ready to get out of it. That's how it looks like for me. For others of you. This is somebody who is who does have a lot. There's a lot of love and emotion here, but there's somebody that's taking a break. And there is Pisces. You can make your the Empress can be any go any way in this situation. But there is an Empress here. You could be the Empress and someone's you on a break with someone is there's getting ready to communicate with you and luck is on your side. Okay. Someone could be have have battled some sort of addiction or got out of something toxic and codependent and getting ready to communicate with you. That they're they're either leaving an empress or you could be the empress and someone has fought some sort of battle and they're coming towards you. Make it fit where it fits. But there is something about messages after some sort of break. There's a lot of cards of healing here as well, Pisces. And luck is on your side in this situation, okay? Let's go to conclusions are within reach for my beautiful baby sharks. Why are conclusions in reach for the baby shark spirit? Make it plain for us. Make it plain, spirit. Why are conclusions 
are, are within reach here for my beautiful baby shark spirit. What conclusions are in reach for the baby sharks? What conclusions are within reach for my Pisces? The four of swords. So, I mean the four of cups. And this is our energy. So maybe we've been disappointed. Maybe something has been a missed opportunity. Maybe something has had us feeling a bit depressed and a bit sad. But it looks like there's there's about to be a conclusion in this. Give me more for conclusions are within reach for Pisces. Page of Swords. <laughs> so are you spying for the conclusion, Pisces? Because somebody's spying, okay? The sun, you definitely could be dealing with the Leo here. And if I look on this card, this, this moon reminds me of Leo too. Some of you are definitely dealing with the Leo. <clears throat> this could be somebody studying you and seeing you as a missed opportunity. And there's about to be a conclusion in this, okay? But there's the Four of Cups. Somebody's probably spending a lot of time alone. And somebody is watching somebody, okay? And I have the sun here. There's about to be some sort of conclusion. Again, there's about to be illumination. The sun is about illumination. You definitely could be dealing with the Leo. But there is about to be a conclusion to this Pisces. Give me more to, to get conclusions are in reach for my baby sharks. Give me more for that. The Page of Cups. The Magician. For some of you, this could definitely be involving children. I have the magician here. I'm not sure what the magician is. And there's that six of wands again. There's a victory and acknowledgement. The magician is a master manifester, okay? This could be anybody, okay? I'm not sure who's the master manifester in here, but this is somebody who has all the tools in the toolbox to accomplish whatever it is that they want to accomplish. There's a victory and a success here involved. I have two pages here, page of swords and page of cups. Somebody could be spying and getting ready to uh, offer a, an apology because they see you as a missed opportunity and there is a conclusion coming to this a victory and a success this could also be something concerning children as well someone that you have children with and, and you could be getting ready to get a victory and success in that situation as well huh. but I'm going to go ahead and clarify this last one and get out of here baby sharks be bold and make the first move okay and this is going to go where this is going to go. This is Cardinal Moon. And again, some of you could be dealing with the Cardinal sign. This is energy Pisces. You're going to have to make these energies fit with it's fit. I just tell the story. <laughs> Don't kill the messenger. But let's see what Be Bold and Make the First Move is about here. For my fellow Pisces. For my baby sharks, okay? Why is Be Bold and Make the First Move here for Pisces? Make it plain for me. Why is that here for Pisces? Why should we be bold and make the first move, Spirit? Make it plain for us. And it's going to mean different things for different one of y'all. Don't kill the messenger here. Because when I saw that, I said, wow. Okay. There's a victory and success. And you got victory. You got healing. You got someone swallowing some pride here. That's an ace of pentacles, though. Okay. King of Pentacles came out. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Some of you are getting ready to chase the bag, okay? The eight, there's the Eight of Wands. Some of you getting ready to have communication from a boss or an authority figure. Some of you getting ready to boss up and make moves. Okay, there's something here about some abundance and some messages of abundance. Be bold and make the first move. And if you're dealing with a cardinal sign, that could definitely be advice for your person. Take it where it go. <laughs> But well, why is be bold and make the first move here? This could be what somebody's getting ready to do. You have a king of pentacles here. This could be somebody who works a lot, a boss, a business owner, an authority figure, page of pentacles. There's that offer again, an offer of stability, abundance. This could be somebody being bold and getting ready to make the first move, but they're making, they're taking baby steps justice. You could be dealing with the Libra. Okay, this is somebody, this, this could be, this is something about, an offer made, a fair offer made. And somebody and someone's gonna be bold and make this offer. Make it make it fit where it fit, Pisces. This could definitely be you. But why is be bold and make the first move here for Pisces? No, that the Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> the Ten of Pentacles. The Hierophant, the Queen of Cups, and the world. Okay, that's it. I'm not going any further. What's at the bottom of my deck? The Queen of Wands. Wow. So listen, Pisces. Under Be Bold and Make the First Move, I have the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Page of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Ten of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Okay? 
You're going to have to put yourself where it goes in this, okay? For some of you, it's going to be a boss or an authority figure that's about to make an offer towards you, an offer of money. So it's going to be something about a bold offer, something about a commitment. You could be dealing with the Taurus, some sort of long-term commitment or contract. For some of you guys are getting ready to, some, some, uh, if you're the boss in this, in this situation, you're getting ready to get some contracts and commitment in a bag, and you're about to be bold. I got the Queen of Cups here, so you're definitely involved in this somewhere in the world. There's some sort of ending coming. There's some, some conclusions coming. There's something about an ending here, some lessons being learned. But Pisces, you're getting ready to get some sort of commitment or contract or abundance, okay? I don't know if you're the King of Pentacles here. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is going to be in a boss or an authority figure. This could go any way. This could be a family member. But there's something about a contract, a commitment, and an offer coming your way. And there's there's somebody there's something about someone's being bold and making the first moves. Looks like someone's going to swallow their pride in something and jump out there and do something. And there's going to be victory and success in this. I got the world. There's going to be lessons learned. You could be getting ready to travel or something or someone could get ready to be traveling to you. Okay? But this is how I see it for January 2020 in love if the message resonates for you guys be sure to like comment subscribe and share again if you're interested in booking me for a private read and i definitely do offer them my email information is in the description box below if this is where we part ways my fellow baby sharks i wish y'all the best in love i wish y'all the best on y'all journeys and i'll bring you guys messages very soon take care guys bye bye